coming to Frontline. Those who would try to drive a wedge between Israel and the United States will the not The architect succeed. of the Middle East peace process has been assassinated. The borders of Israel and Palestine should be based on the 1967 lines. I think it's important to place a red line before them. It's already one of the world's most volatile areas. And tonight, I will never compromise on Israel's security and our vital interests. On January 5th, the inside story of Benjamin Netanyahu's rise to power. This demand for a PLO state, which will mean more violence in the Middle East. Benjamin Netanyahu begins his Israeli political career in the United States. He's unknown in Israel in the 1980s. He's already a celebrity with the Jewish right in the United States. His relationships with two American presidents. He knew Clinton had his set of responsibilities. Netanyahu has his responsibilities, and they were in collision. Netanyahu made life very difficult for the American administration and for those Israelis who wanted peace. Mr. President, history will not give the Jewish people another chance. The conflicts that shaped him. Palestinians were fed up. Years of failed negotiations. So everything unravels. The four bombs in nine days transformed everything and raised questions. What is your peace process buying? And so Netanyahu is returned to center stage as the person who had warned about terrorism. The history that defines him. If your country is threatened, you have to respond quickly. That's the story of the Six Day War. The days when the Jewish people remain passive in the face of genocidal enemies are over. Benjamin Netanyahu did an end run around President Obama today. The high stakes standoff with his most powerful ally. The United States has a secret negotiation with Iran. This is a very bad deal, and Israel utterly rejects it. Our principal ally has negotiated behind our backs with our worst enemy. The president was saying, we have an opportunity here to get more through diplomacy. He is so convinced that he's right, equally so convinced that Obama is dead wrong. He wants it to be clear that he made the most powerful statement possible to warn against this deal. So when the deal turns bad, he'll go down in history as the person who warned us all. Our Frontline Special Report. Watch online or on air beginning January 5th.